I found my scrapbook from when I was a teenager. I think I was probably about 13 or 14 when I made this scrapbook. <laughs> you can see who I always loved. I wrote here all of uh, the things that were important to me and the things that would describe me at this age. Let's see what I said. Name, age 13, born July 1st, 1970. Date, July 3rd, 1983. That's when the scrapbook started. Height back then was five, one and a half. Weight, 95 pounds. President Ronald Reagan, grade, just past the eighth grade. Favorite food, none. Favorite drink, cream soda and orange juice. Favorite singer, Michael Jackson and Stacey Lattisaw. Favorite song, Miracles by Stacey Lattisaw. This was like in the height of uh, Michael Mania in the 80s. Let's see what's in here. 3D glasses, flash dance. This is just some of the stuff that was really special to me when I was 13 or 14. Ah, Michael. Music of the 80s. Entertainer of the decade, Michael Jackson. Diana Ross, Culture Club. Prince, Madonna, Duran Duran, Bow Wow Wow, who I love, a rock band. 1985 memory. So this scrapbook kind of goes through the years of the 80s. I just kept adding on. These are some Michael stuff from the 85 that I got. Love this picture of him at Disneyland. This is one of my favorite pictures from that era. Beautiful. It's from Rolling Stone magazine. Michael as a baby. <laughs> what else? More Michael. Do people have scrapbooks anymore? Do kids keep scrapbooks? They're really great. I guess since there aren't a lot of um, magazines really, everything's online, probably I would say no, but you know, I guess people's scrapbooks are basically their Facebook pages or not even Facebook anymore, Instagram and and Pinterest and all those kind of things. Well, back then we had actual pieces of paper that we could cut out and frame or put on our wall. It was great. Yeah, I loved, uh, I loved Janet too. She was so cute back then. I mean, she still is. But even back then she was too. <laughs> Here's the original ad for Thriller um, to announce that it was coming out. And uh, we never would have dreamed that it would be the hit that it became. I mean, I knew it was going to be a hit, but it was really a phenomenon. Something the world has never seen. See, Michael Mania. It really existed. We're not just saying that. It, there really was a thing called Michael Mania in the 80s. He was just, um, he was it. There's never been anything like it since. The thrill of being a Jackson fan. I mean, they were doing stories on Jackson fans. That's how amazing his uh, success was at the time. Everything surrounding him was a huge story. Inside every superstar, there's someone waiting to be heard. This was an interview that he did on the radio. This is um, an ad that Michael placed thanking the record bar, which uh, for, the, for helping in the success of Thriller. See, Michael Mania. Michael cartoon, he had his own comic strip. He was everywhere. Probably, I would say, like, 1983, 1980. This was from 1984. This was when he was just on top of the world. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. My original gloves. I mean, 
if you were a cool teen in the 80s, you had to have a Michael Jackson glove. And this one, this is a Motown 25 um, commemorative <laughs> glove. Look how dirty it is. I never, I this hasn't been touched since, since the 80s. Definitely didn't want to wash it, so I just kept it like this. This, I had cut the, um, the fingers out. It was like a really uh, cool style back then to wear gloves with no fingers. What are these? The <laughs> I think I made this one myself. I was so desperate to have a glove, I made this myself. Don't laugh. I was always terrible at sewing. What's this one? Oh, this one isn't bad. This was, I think this might have been my favorite one. It's um, <laughs> it's very dirty, but it's not bad, you know. Hey, and uh, look at this—they were selling the official Michael Jackson glove pendant pin. I mean, as I said, everything surrounding him was huge. Uh, I remember, there was this April Fool joke, Fool's joke that um, they said that Michael was coming out with a music video called Tingle, and everyone was so excited. And it turned out to be an April Fool's joke, and even that made huge news. Oh, the accident! <laughs> nice picture. This was the. Um, newspaper article about Michael winning all of those Grammys. What is that? That's from Wednesday, February 29th, 1984. Yeah, some history are in these pages of my scrapbook. It's from the American Music Awards, a story about that. This is um, an ad where you could win tickets to see the Grammys in LA. Story about Michael and Brooke. <laughs> I gave them their own little page in my scrapbook. May 14th, 1984, Michael met Ronald Reagan. That was a huge story. Big deal. <laughs> The story was about Michael being hurt and angry. I, I would have to read it to remember why he was hurt and ang angry. Oh, I, I know. It was like a big story about him being, um, uh, uh, his father said some sort of racist remarks and Michael was furious and he did this interview to clarify that he was not racist like his father and he, that he did not condone those statements made by his father. <laughs> See, even back then, Michael had to uh, address these stupid rumors. This was this was 1984. It was a this magazine was 50 cents. How Michael made himself in the image of Diana Ross. There were always all kinds of crazy tabloid stories about Michael. And it never changed, I guess. The king of thrills. <laughs> oh, this was the ad for when um, that Diana Ross special was going to air on TV. Remember the one where he got up on stage with her and did uh, Upside Down and he's on down the road? Yeah, this was when it was coming on. And this is when The Wiz was coming on TV. <laughs> I knew 
knew that you were going to be a giant star. I really did. Well, thank you. Yeah, but I didn't know. What I didn't know is that you were going to get so sexy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. What? Be sexy. <laughs> Don't you, do you guys think she's sexy? Yeah! Why is this man barred from Disneyland imitators? Eric Evans. Isn't that E. Casanova? Is E. Casanova's real name Eric Evans? I think so. This is him, right? Let's see, it said Eric Evans, 18, makes a living as a Michael Jackson impersonator. So this was 1986. Michael with uh, Peaches from Peaches and Herb. I used to love Peaches and Herb so much. Michael with Victoria Principal from Dallas and Andy Gibb. I love this pic of Michael in the pink... Uh, suit with Sidney Poitier. Really cool. Michael and Shirley MacLaine. People Magazine actually had an article called Archangel Michael. Um, a, a secret Michael Jackson cult spreads within Jehovah's Witnesses, splitting the sect and embarrassing its most famous disciple. This was uh, October 8th, 1984, and it's about, um, it's a really interesting article. Uh, it's about how um, within Michael's religion, the Jehovah's Witnesses, an MJ cult had developed. The cult believes that Michael is Archangel Michael, who is described in the book of Daniel and at the time, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. So a lot of Michael's beliefs stemmed from his uh, Jehovah's Witness studies. I, I think a lot of people don't realize that. And even though he was no longer in the Jehovah's Witnesses after about, I don't know, the late 80s, I guess, he still, you know, that all those teachings were still ingrained in his mind. Um, and he really was a, a big Bible reader and um, and he was really passionate about the religion until he left. So if you want to understand Michael, perhaps you should uh, study the Jehovah's Witnesses religion. <laughs> Sheila E, Billy Idol, who I loved, Five Star, who I loved, Irene Cara, who I loved, Cindy Lauper, who I loved. When you're a teenager, you love a lot of people. <laughs> Stacy Lattisaw was my absolute idol. I think I loved her more than I loved Michael back in the 80s. And then when I went to see um, the Jacksons' uh, Triumph Tour in 1981, that's when I started really loving um michael more than stacy this album with you was just like it to me when i walked into the record store and saw it sitting in there i'll never forget um it was great that was why vinyl records were so wonderful because they were huge and you know there was a huge picture of your favorite star your favorite singer on the cover and it was exciting and she uh, stacy was 13 when she started and she toured with the Jacksons. She was the opening act for the Triumph Tour. There's Michael kissing her. There's Janet and Stacy and Randy and Latoya, Stacy Lattisaw. I had to include some pictures of myself from that year. This is my 14th birthday. <laughs> I was actually 12 on this picture. I was in New York. And I had uh, put 
the fortune cookie um, prophecy that I had gotten in 1985 here, and it says, you will be drawn to the glamor of the stage. They were right. <laughs> Thank you.